My name is Jessica and I'm a Green Schools Travel Officer. All this talk about 2040 has got me thinking about what it means to be unsustainable and sustainable. Today I'm here to do a craft with you to take a closer look at what it means to be an unsustainable city and to be a sustainable city. If we take a closer look at both, we can see some big differences. First off, on the unsustainable city, you can see that the front layer has lots of cars and a small footpath. While on the sustainable city, you can see there's public transportation, a cycle lane, and a big footpath where people can easily access it, whether they're cycle, scooting, or in a wheelchair. On the second layer, on this one, the unsustainable city, you can see lots of crowded buildings. Well, in our sustainable city, you can see rooftop gardens, solar panels, a bit more space in between the buildings, a bike rack, a bicycle, recycling, and even a charging station for an electric vehicle. On the final layer, on our unsustainable city, you can see more crowded cityscape buildings. And on our final layer, for the sustainable city, you can see lots of rolling hills with beautiful trees and wind turbines. In the background, on our unsustainable city, you can see brown air, which indicates low air quality and high air pollution. Well, on our sustainable city, you can see a beautiful blue sky, which indicates high air quality and low air pollution. I want to get you thinking about what it means to be unsustainable and sustainable. So let's get started and build our own cities together. Let's see what we need. First, you'll need the printed off sheets to cut out. Second, you'll need two pieces of colored paper. On this one, I used blue and gray. But this time, I'm going to use brown and blue. You'll also need a glue stick or tape, whichever you prefer. You'll need scissors to cut out all the city. And finally, something to color your city with. You can do colored pencils, markers, watercolors, or anything else. However creative you're feeling, you can decide. Now let's get started. For sections like this, it's not necessary to cut every single detail. So I just like to cut around it so that there's white space in between. So once I have all of my pieces cut out, make sure to recycle the scraps and then I'm going to sort them into my sustainable, unsustainable side. I'm not going to look at this one though because I want to think about what makes a city sustainable and what makes a city unsustainable. When you look at the details in each layer, front, middle, and back, you will see clues to tell you if this belongs in a sustainable or unsustainable city. Take some time to organize each piece. Okay, let's get coloring. Now we have finished coloring all of our pieces. It's important to remember to keep them organized as front, middle, and back pieces. This will help when we're constructing it. I've chosen brown paper for my unsustainable city and blue paper for my sustainable city. But you can choose any colors you like. I'm going to start with my unsustainable city. During this section, you can use glue or tape, whichever you prefer. I'm going to use glue for this part. So I'm going to take my back piece and put some glue on it. Now that it's all stuck down, what I'm going to do is draw an oval curved shape like this. You can make it as big or as small as you like but they will both be the same size. 
I'm going to take my scissors and cut this out. So this part, make sure you're paying close attention to. So what we're going to do now that this is made, is we're going to take our other two pieces and fold it along this tabbed line. So when you folded them, you should have these little tabs on either side. This is how we're going to attach it to this. I'm going to start with my middle piece. I find it's easier to use tape for this part, but you still are welcome to use glue if you prefer. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to line up that bottom and I'm going to take a piece of tape, it doesn't have to be too big, make sure it's all lined up and I'm just going to tape it like that. I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to fold it and so that it's lined up. Now the reason I'm picking it up is because this is what creates the 3D effect. So we have the middle, the back, and the middle section done. Now we're going to do the front. So now when I flip it to the front, I have my three layers. Perfect. To make our sustainable city, what we're going to do is first line my brown piece up to my blue piece, just like I did before, and I'm going to trace the top. So I'm going to do the same as I did with these two layers as I did with this one, by first folding the tabs and then taping them on the back. Now I have my two sides, my unsustainable city and my sustainable city. Now for the final step, we're going to glue or tape the backs together. You've now completed your unsustainable sustainable cityscape project. I hope this got you thinking about what it means to be unsustainable and what it means to be sustainable. Enjoy the rest of your conference.